iPhone 10, probably the most unique iPhone in a long, long time. And I've been using it for about an year and a half, and I loved it. I loved literally every second with it. Now, the question is, is it worth it in 2019, or let's be honest, 2020? Well, to, to answer this question, I have to be techy about this. But to answer this question really quickly, if you're, if you're that person, now, here's the deal, here's the deal. If you're coming from older iPhone prior to iPhone 10, iPhone 10 is absolutely worth it. Even even though if you're coming from iPhone 8 or 8, 8 Plus, now why would you want to upgrade to iPhone 10? Well, here's here's a list about iPhone 10. Now you you could watch all the reviews on the YouTube, but this is an insider that what I'm telling you is actually true because I've been using the iPhone 10 for a year and a half. I dropped in the swimming pool, that's why I had to upgrade. But iPhone 10 has a beautiful, gorgeous display, right? New cameras, absolutely unique, unique design, and not to mention Face ID. For someone like me who has almost fingers, I cannot get the uh, get used to uh, Touch ID on my iPhone uh, on the on the older iPhone, right? Even though I was using iPhone 7 Plus before this one, so I was having issues a lot of the time. But Face ID absolutely fixed it for me, and I loved it. Face Face ID is is, is so much better. Not, not to, not to mention the cameras. Absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna see a lot of pictures that I took with my iPhone 10 in a second, but you will love it. I mean, look at these pictures, right? These pictures, like, looks like these, they came up, came out from a professional camera. Now, not to be, not to, not to brag about this, but iPhone 10 has really, really stunning camera. But back to the topic. Now, new display. Infinity display, as many as a lot of people like to call it, new gestures. You're gonna you're gonna learn a lot of new gestures since the net, there is no home button. So you're gonna learn a lot of new gestures in the on the phone, and you will love it. All the new gestures are so smooth, really, really, really smooth, and it's just it's interesting to use something that's quite unique. But now the question is, if you are using iPhone 10 and you want to upgrade to a more of a you know, iPhone XS, iPhone 11 Pro. Now, I would not suggest you to get to the iPhone XS if you're going for the same size, but if you're going for a bigger size, just like me, I went to the iPhone XS Max because iPhone 11 Pro was not out. So if you're going for a bigger size, I, I would say go for it. iPhone XS Max or even iPhone 11 Pro, but what I would not suggest you to do is to get an iPhone 11 or uh, iPhone XR. Because the display quality on the on both of these phones is just not good. It it is uh, it is like a bigger display. I would uh, I am I am absolutely sure about that. But the point is, it's not high resolution like iPhone 10 or iPhone 10s or even iPhone 11 Pro. I would not say exactly they are exactly exactly the same. But the the point is, do not go for the iPhone 11 11 uh, or 10R because the display quality is not as good as iPhone 10. So if you are even going for iPhone 11 R, uh, iPhone 11, just go for the iPhone 10. It's just so much better. You, it's. I mean, the size is not the same, but it's absolutely worth it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, leave a like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to. Peace out.